Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for another Facebook Friday. I hope you're excited. I know I am. I love the products we're using this week. Well, I love the products every week, but this week especially. Okay, let's make sure I am in the right place. Make sure the volume is turned down. Nothing worse than hearing your own voice, right? <laughs> Why is that? Okay, good. I can see you guys. Let's make sure that I put that over where it needs to go. I hope you guys have had a great week. We have had a very busy week. Hello, Charlie. Charlie thinks I'm talking to him. Hi, ladies, good to see you. We've had a very busy week. We are actually getting ready to go on an epic road trip. I will tell you guys more about that later, but I've had to squeeze two weeks of work into one and all the appointments and, you know, why are there so many appointments? Between me and the girls, we have a ton of appointments. <laughs> And we're not even, we're like super healthy, but we still have all these places we have to go. Oh, anyhow, it's good to see you guys. Happy Friday. So this week we are going to be using the brand new Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. Um, this is online only. You will not find it in the catalog and it is not to be confused with the beautiful butterfly stamp set that is in the current catalogs. Um, there is a new one in the spring catalog, um, but it is not this one. This one's very unique and I'm going to show you why it is all one big stamp. So imagine it's like a background stamp. So you can get all of those butterflies in one stamp. And then the brilliant part of it is that there is this big giant die that cuts them all out at the same time. Look at that. Hello, super smart, stamping up. Um, and then there's a whole nother sheet of dies to go with it. So it's a ton. Um, so these are going to be, these two, the stamps and the dies are going to be in the next annual catalog. That's our big catalog. And that is at the beginning of May. Okay. So these are like a sneak peek that you can order now. Um, and they're, they're going to be around for a while. They're going to be in the annual catalog. Then there is this paper that goes with it. And I will show you more of this paper when we start our first project. But this paper is six by six, has 48 sheets. And let me, I, let me put my favorite pattern up at the front while I'm talking about it. <laughs> um, this is only while supplies last. So this will not be in any catalog. You will not see it again. Um, it hopefully will be around through May, but one, one never knows. They have it as while supplies last and it's been very popular. And then the other paper is this, they're calling it specialty paper and it looks like wood. It's very um, interesting, it's very pretty. Do you guys remember, well maybe you still can buy those real thin sheets of wood at the craft store in like the scrapbooking section and you could die cut them. Um, well, that's what this looks like, except it's paper, so it totally cuts really easily. It's very uh, light and thin. It even has some texture on it, some wood texture, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, I love that. And while supplies last only, I really thought that this would be in the next catalog, but it is not. It is not. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Before we get started, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First, I have to show you two things I got in the mail this week. Kathy is one of my second level downline. Um, she sends me a thank you card like once a month. Kathy, you're like the best thank you card sender ever. And I never send her a thank you card for her thank you cards because, you know, like when, like when do you, when do you not do that? When, do, who knows? Kathy, I just wanted to give a shout out to her. She is super thoughtful. Um, I don't know if she watches Facebook Live, but if you know her, tell her that I appreciate her cards. But anyway, I also wanted to point out that that stamp right there, it's backwards, I know. That is from the stamp set that was exclusive during celebration. Um, you could get it free with a purchase or a party over 350. So not very many people got it. But because of what I do and uh, the big orders I place, I got a bunch of them. Um, I don't know how many I have. Last year I did this and I only had about 25 of them, I think, or 20. I'm going to have to count. But if you see over my corner, over my shoulder, right there in the corner, I started designing a class for that stamp set today. And it's going to be limited. However many stamp sets I have, that's how many kits there will be. So that will not be coming for probably a couple weeks, end of March. Look for that. And I will let you guys know. So if you want it, it'll include that exclusive stamp set and some product. 
Okay, so Kathy, I'm glad you sent me this. Not only do I appreciate it, but it also was a great segue for me to remind, to remind me to tell you guys about this upcoming class. Now I got something else from Jamie and Jamie sent me this gorgeous card. Look at that, gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that that's embossed. But she wrote the sweetest note in here and she said, as soon as I saw this fabric, I had to make and send a mask for you. She says she's been making masks during this past year. I've made over 5,000 masks and this style is the most comfortable. Um, so I was very touched by that, Jamie, and I just have to show you guys the mask. Look at the fabric. How cute is it? It's very cute. It's buffalo check and it's got um, the sunflowers on it. So I haven't tried it on yet, but I am definitely going to be wearing it. Jamie, that was very, very thoughtful. Look how they match. She's very clever. Jamie, thank you so much. That was very, very kind of you. Um, and um, who knew we'd be so into masks. <laughs> if you had told me this time last year, I would have been like, I'm never wearing a mask. You're crazy. But guess what? I wear them every day. Okay. So anyways, it's good that we can have pretty ones. Um, she said in her card, I don't know if I read that part that she's sending them to um, medical personnel. I can't remember the, all the details, but it was amazing. 5,000 masks. Can you imagine making that many? Incredible. So I feel honored that she sent me one. Okay. A few things to tell you. Do you guys see that? <laughs> the light bulb only does that when I'm on Facebook Live. It's like it's haunted. Um, paper pumpkin. So this is February's paper pumpkin. I had to think about it. Bouquet of hope. I have several left. All right. Um, I never know how many to order. And I just dropped the spot. I never know how many to order. I just kind of guess. Um, and I still have a few of these left. I think I don't know, just a few. So if you didn't get your paper pumpkin this month or you want an extra one, here it is. Um, I sell them for $25 shipped. That includes shipping. Um, the shipping is about $4.50 depending on where you live. Um, so it comes with how many cards? Nine cards. Look at that. That's so cute. I haven't made it. I haven't had time. It also comes with a mossy meadow spot. And a beautiful little stamp set. I like the way that that is drawn. Hey, speaking of stamps and the way they're drawn, guess what meeting I had this week? My million dollar stamp set meeting. But that's all I'm going to say. I, I seriously signed a document that I can't talk about it. So don't ask. But I'm very excited. Very excited. Anyhow, I like the way that is drawn. I'm sure you guys have a preference when you look through the catalog. They're, they're drawn all different ways. Um, some are realistic, some are cutesy, some are kind of, um, you know, artistic. And I bet you have a preference. I bet you do. I definitely have a preference and you guys probably know what it is. But I like to color with my blends. And so when a, an image is clean lines like that makes it easier. Anyhow, if you would like a paper pumpkin, by all means, please message me, email me. Um, I am leaving on a very long, week-long road trip early tomorrow morning, so I will not be here for about a week, um, so it will take me a while to get it to you, but it'll get to you, <laughs> okay? Now, um, the other thing I want to tell you, paper pumpkin... Um, Lori, she's asking, do you get a time frame of when your stamp set will be available? Yeah, so 2023, <laughs> spring of 2023. Um, the thing is that Stampin' Up! works so far ahead on their catalogs that, um, like, what we discussed was the catalog they're currently working on, and it was spring 2023 and fall 2022. So, I mean, way ahead. So, like, next year's catalogs, they're already done, done, you know, so they, that's why it's so far out. Um, it feels like forever, right? <laughs> it feels like a really long time. Um, but it'll, it'll fly by and it takes time for them to design and do all that and go back and forth, I guess. And I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it'll take a long time, but, um, hopefully it'll be worth the wait. And I will say, I see some of you trying to guess you won't guess. It's something that we haven't even talked about. 
and I'm excited about it. I, I hope you'll like it. Okay. Um, so paper pumpkin, if you are a subscriber, you're not a subscriber, whatever, the deadline is, why am I drawing a blank, you guys? The 10th of the month, you have to subscribe by the 10th of the month, correct? To get that month's paper pumpkin kit. So this month is March, March 10th. Somebody please confirm that I am not making this date up. You know what I'm getting confused with is my club creates um, deadline. For, for paper pumpkin, March 10th, you have to subscribe. This month is a really cute, speaking of national parks, it's like, um, it's not a national park set, but it's like mountains and sun and all that. But look, it's going to come with four masks and we're going to use masks today, a mask today. So if you like masking, you definitely want one of these paper pumpkins. Thank you, um, Hope, for confirming that to me. Thank you, Carla. Good. Okay, so if you want this paper pumpkin, you need to subscribe by the 10th. Now, I will have some extras. I don't know how many. I already have a list of people who have requested my extras, um, but I will have a few more. Um, so, but if you for sure, for sure want this, make sure that you have subscribed. I will put the link here in the video description when I'm done, okay? Okay, that's that. Let me move that out of the way. Hmm, I need like a whole nother, I need to make a double table is what I need to do. You know, we're, we're kind of kicking around the idea of building a new house, kind of. I don't know, my daughter's going to Baylor next year, so we're <laughs> kind of sweating that too. So, I don't know, but I've been thinking in my head, you know, designing a craft room differently, and I need a giant center island. I have this center island, but it's not giant enough. I don't know. Um, Karen, 2023, no, so let's see, she'll be a freshman next year, so that would be, she'll be a sophomore, I think. She's in eighth grade. Somebody do the math. I think she would be a sophomore or a junior. Yeah, sophomore, I think. Yeah. You know, I knew that I would hit my million around the time Ellie was graduating, and that's what happened. I kind of thought it would be around that time. Who knew? I guess I did. Okay, I was going to tell you something. I lost track. Squirrel. I don't know. I feel like there was something I was going to say, but I don't remember. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to turn you guys around because the next stuff is just easier for me to show you if I turn you around. All right. Close your eyes because I'm not fancy. I'm so cute. I'm so jealous. Seriously, of the people that have the fancy software and it's not that I don't have the fancy software because I've paid for two different ones it's just that I can't get them to work remember the debacle we've had when I tried to use the fancy software I need a tutor to come to my house now I don't know I think it's the internet but I have good internet I don't know oh well anyways you can open your eyes now let me turn that fan down okay um let's see I'm gonna save this for later let me move this over here Move this over here. Okay, let's talk about my class to go this month. It's the handsomely suited uh, bundle, which I'm calling the well-suited class to go because that's what the whole suite of products is called. Um, it's so cute. I love the, the masculine sets that come out around uh, Father's Day. And so I'm hoping that by doing this in March, we'll, we will avoid major back orders. Um, <laughs> I do know that it's on back order right now, but it's coming back, I think, next week. Um, but anyway, this is the bundle. This class is a big class. There's really a lot of uh, possibilities with this bundle, so I kind of did a little bit of a lot. Eight projects in this class. Um, you will get eight projects in your kit. You will get five cards. You know me, lots of layers. Okay, and there's our Pee Wee Herman card. I saw, I was reading comments and you guys agreed with me. Looks like Pee Wee Herman. Um, and then this one is a gift card holder. And then two boxes. I turned this one into a little shirt. It's a little slider box. It's our, you know, our, um, what are they called? Love you always slider boxes. And then this one, I dropped it and it's like a mess. But this is for, this is for the men in your life who like booze always a fun gift and that would make a fun like um bachelor party favor i think you could change the sentiment anyhow that's the class to go for this month 
Um, the deadline is March 23rd. I will ship them on March 30th. You have a lot of time left. Um, I am ordering, I'm trying to order as we go so that hopefully, um, you know, it pays to register early like this week with my Easter class. I ordered the stamp sets and only half of them shipped because I guess I straddled that back order line and half of them shipped and half of them didn't. And so the first half of the people who ordered, you know, got them on time. And anyway, it pays to, it pays to register early. It does. In case something like that happens, I always give priority to first who is ordered. And then you have to wait if you are not in the first group, but fingers crossed that won't be a problem, but every now and then it is. Anyway, this class comes with the twine, the paper, um, and you can get it with or without the bundle. It's $69 with the bundle, $34 without, $8 shipping, priority flat rate, um, $15 for the PDF only version in my store. This does not have a video, okay? Um, I will let you know when they have videos. This one does not have a video. All right, next. Let's, oh, let's look at the new um, All-Star Tutorial Bundle. You know, just so you guys know, there's a lot of tutorial bundles out there now, but we are the original. We are the first ones who started this. And I think me and Kylie are the only ones left from the original group, uh, but it's still super high quality, really great projects. Kylie is very particular with who she chooses to be on the design team. Um, there are 12 tutorials in here. They all feature the Hydrangea Hill bundle this, uh, this month. And um, each of these tutorials is a video. So there's a link to each one to the video in the PDF. There's also measurements um, in metric and imperial. And let's see, what else am I gonna tell you? Supply lists. You can get this for free by spending um, $50 with me. If you put, if you order Stampin' Up! products over $50, I will send this to you for free. I send them about once a week. So if you ordered on a Monday, you might have to wait a few days. If you don't wanna wait, just email me and say, can I have the PDF please? Um, because I do drag my feet on that sometimes. <laughs> because there's no good way for me to capture everybody's emails who ordered. So I have to go one by one and it takes some time. So sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I drag my feet on it and I apologize. Because you will get it, I promise. You will get it for free. The second option is to buy it in my PDF store. Now you'll see in my PDF store, there's another Hydrangea Hill PDF in there and that was my class to go last month. That's all cards designed by me. This one will say Hydrangea Hill All-Star Tutorial Bundle, 12 projects, one designed by me, the 11 others designed by other people. Okay? Oh, Catherine, you have been a subscriber since the beginning and I appreciate that. Yes, I, I know, you have been around for a while. It's been about, what, four years that we've been doing this, and uh, I'm glad that you like it, Catherine. That, that is a testimony in itself to that you um, subscribed for that long. Okay, now, so by the way, subscription for those is closed. You can only subscribe the first month. How about some prizes? I had, oh my gosh, I didn't pull out prizes today. Okay, well, let's look at the winners. Here are the winners, and let me grab some prizes real quick. My prize cabinet is overflowing, so I want to give away some good prizes. I can't believe I forgot to pull them out. You guys just hold on for a second. Hopefully you see your name. Dina, Judy, and let's see, I've got this one open range. Okay, Judy and um, Jane and Kelly. I think I have all of your mailing addresses. I think. So unless you've moved, message me, okay? Unless you, well, message me if you've moved. If not, don't worry about it. Um, I am gonna try to get these out tomorrow. I have some things going out tomorrow, the day that I leave. So I'll try to get those out to you. Okay, congratulations. So how do you win? You share the video on Facebook. Um, just put shared in the comments. And this week, you need to let me know which prize you want. This week I've got, let's see, we've got the Open Range, Ride the Range bundle. And let's do, let's do this one, Many Mates Bundle. This has all the 
a many mates, many messages bundle and the message dies. So in the comments, when you um, share, you know what, let's do a third one because I'm gonna be gone next week. So let's do wrapped bouquet. So in the comments, this is these are three bundles. In the comments, after you shared, tell me which one you want. Okay, so shared, wrapped bouquet, shared, many messages, whatever. So that way I can pick one person for each one, okay? Woohoo, Dina, there you are, yay! Congratulations, ladies. Okay, so that's that. All you have to do is share. Um, you can share it to a group, on your page, whatever. However you want to do it, just let me know. All right, we are cleared off. This week we are doing the Butterfly Brilliance. If you haven't, if you haven't joined me before, and I'll just kind of show you guys that. If you haven't joined me before for Facebook Friday, I usually pick one product and design three projects around it. And then I treat this as my weekly card class. And if you want the projects for free, I will mail them to you with a $35 order um, using this host code. And it has to be put in by Monday at midnight. Okay, so you have today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to put in your order. All orders in that time frame that are over $35 will get these make and takes for free. And this is what they look like. They come, you have to make them. You will need the butterfly stamps and the butterfly dies. Those things I will not cut out. But everything else, like labels and circles and scored uh, card bases, all of that will come to you. And I'll even make you a little thank you tag. There is no, there are no stamped images in here at all, none. You have to do all the stamping yourself. That's against policy, and I'm not going to send free stamped images. But that would take away the fun. Why would you want me to send you stamped images, right? That's the fun part. Um, so anyway, if you happen to put in a large order that's over $150, don't use the host code, because then you get Stampin' Rewards. And, you know, we haven't looked at Stampin' Rewards in a while. Let's look at that real quick. When you order, even if you're just ordering online yourself, you're gonna get something called Stampin' Rewards. We used to call them host rewards because you would get them when you hosted a workshop that was over $150. Well, if your order online goes over $150, you're gonna earn Stampin' Rewards. 10%, you would get $15 in free product, whatever you want of your choice, all right? Um, all the way up to uh, 450, you would get 14% half off item. And the way that you claim those, it's kind of weird on the website. As soon as you hit $150 in your cart, the next item you look at, there will be like, I think it's a red uh, button that says claim reward. So that's where you would hit the things that you wanna add to your stamp of rewards, okay? So if your order is over $150, I want you to get this. So don't use the host code. I will still send you the projects for free as a thank you. All righty. All righty. Okay, let's see. I had another thought in my mind. Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you guys this butterfly stuff online. I want to show you. So when you go to stampinup.com, is there a glare? Can you guys see? When you go to stampinup.com, let's see if it'll just take me to the main page. This butterfly brilliance, butterfly bouquet stuff is new. So that little banner should pop up and you can click on that. If that doesn't pop up, click those three lines, shop products. And where's the new right here, down here. What's new? I usually do it on my computer. So it looks different. What's new. And then there it is butterfly bouquet. And you'll see it all here. You can get the paper, the stamps, the stamps and dies, just the dies, the whole caboodle and that wood grain natural touch specialty paper. Okay, so that's where it is. You will not see it in the catalog anywhere. Um, all four things that we're using today are online only. So that is this right here. Um, the, the stamp is $17. This is American prices. Um, the dies are $44 because there's two whole sheets of dies and they're big. So it's a lot. Um, let me show you the paper. I really love the paper. This one I think is my favorite because it looks real. That cloud looks real. Um, let me go, let's see, I'll go this way. So the paper is six by six. I love that one too. That's, I posted this card earlier in the week. I haven't put it on my blog yet, but I need to do that. I use that paper. Um, six by six, 
here's a card using that paper. I love that rainbow paper. This will be on my blog on Monday. Um, there's six by six, 48 sheets. And check this one out. This sheet, when you take this die, this is like the cheater method and I love it. Because if you're in a hurry, look, you don't even need to stamp and color. You just cut them out of the paper. Don't you love it? All right, so there's that. And then the background images, kind of, I don't know, what do you call that? Tie-dye. And then just some simple patterns that coordinate. That kind of looks like camo to me, that one too. And then that one looks like there should be a unicorn in there. <laughs> okay, so 48 sheets, six by six. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I love it. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's very, very springy. All right, let's get started. Now, you can go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, and you'll find this PDF. There's a button under the last photo that says click here for the PDF. It looks like this. It has all the measurements that you will need and all the product numbers and, you know, everything that I used. And the, th the three things that I talked about. I did not talk about Club Create. Um, the seventh, which is tomorrow is the last day to subscribe for this month's club create. Just heads up next month. We're doing seashells are like friends. Okay. So if you want to subscribe next month, you'll have to wait till after the seventh and then you can subscribe. Um, I'll add a link here for that too. All right. So this PDF is there. It is free. It does not cost you anything. Um, and, uh, you can save it, print it, do whatever you want. It also has the host code on it. If you're looking for the host code to order. Whew. All right. You know, Facebook's doing something weird. It's not really showing me your comments, but it's showing things over and over and over. Like Sandy is watching. Sandy is watching. Sandy is watching. Why is it doing that? Maybe I need to, what is it? I always say, close it and come back. Okay. There we go. Now it's better. Weird. That's weird, but I can't see all the past comments. Hmm. Okay. Anyhow, let's get started. Here's the first card that we're going to make. Um, I'm going to show you how to stamp the that one sheet of butterflies um, to make kind of a background paper. Um, we're also going to use this bundle. Now, because this stamp set has no sentiments, I pulled in this stamp set. Charlie, don't get started. I heard you outside barking. Don't come in here. No. They were, they were asleep. Go, go outside. Go outside. Go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that, he's been so quiet today, too. I think he's going outside. Okay, there. He went outside. So I pulled in Vine Design, and we're going to use the With Sympathy. And I had this out, and I thought, wait a minute. What if we use this? I think this, this bundle is a hidden gem in the spring catalog. It did not catch my attention at all. Until I saw somebody use this die, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I bought it, and I've loved it. I've used that one and this one. You'll see a card next week while I'm out of town. By the way, I meant to tell you guys this. Next week while I'm out of town, there's going to be an ordering special that starts on Tuesday. Um, it involves stamp and Blends that you can earn for free. And because it'll, we're going to be leading up to St. Patrick's Day, I have Lucky Projects plan for you every single day. Okay. So make sure that you check out my blog. Even though I'm out of town, I've got new stuff planned for you. Sorry. That was a tangent. One of the cards uses this, but we're going to use the round one today. All right. We're also going to cut out the butterflies from this set, but let's stamp that background first. And I'm going to tell you that it is really a lot easier to use this stamp. Look how big it is. It's a lot easier to stamp it with your Stamparatus, okay? I have big hands, you guys, and it, I still, when I'm using a block, a big block, it's hard. I have a hard time, um, and the Stamparatus just makes it so easy. Now, I know some of you are thinking, I don't want all of my, my uh, stamps connected like that. Yeah, you can cut them apart. Do stamp surgery, no problem. If you cut like just a line and a line, you can actually piece them back together on your on your block or your stamparatus plate like a puzzle and they'll go right back together. But if you want to use them individually, don't be scared to just snip. Now, I did see someone suggest also 
that you could buy two of these, keep one intact and cut the other one apart. Uh, and the stamp set is $17. So as far as Stampin' Up! stamp sets go, that's, that's on the low end. So just a thought, if it bothers you and you think you're gonna use a lot, you could buy two. Okay, I don't think I would buy two. I think I would just either cut it apart or, you know, just leave it. I don't know. I, I will tell you that the seashells are like friends. If you haven't used that bundle yet, the die is big and stuck together, but the, the stamps are not stuck together. And so it makes it a little tricky. So I think I like them stuck together. I think I'd rather stamp them all together than have to piece them to match that die. Anyhow, just my, just my opinion. Okay, we're gonna stamp these guys in. Um, it's doing that weird thing again. Are you guys having any trouble? I'm not seeing comments at all. Now I can see them. Oh, it's been doing that on other people's lives, Barb? Weird. Okay, well, that makes me feel better. Um, Catherine, you bought two sets. Okay, all right, yeah. I mean, it's a clever, you know, for $17. Uh, you know, it just depends on what your budget is. Okay, I stamped those in Calypso Coral, and I'm actually going to stamp them on my grid paper um, because I'm stamping off. I want it to be lighter on my uh, basic white. Um, I had something I was going to say about that, and now I forgot what it was. I don't know. All right, now I'm going to stamp, make it light, and there it is. Isn't that beautiful? All right, see how the dark and light, and I probably should have set it back down right there. That's why I use a Stamparatus so you can set it back down, but I'm gonna trim this out so it doesn't matter. All right, so we've got that. Now let's grab the trimmer, and we're gonna cut this down to, we've got a piece of Calypso Coral that is three and three fourths by five. I'm gonna make it an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's gonna be three and five eighths, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, okay? So let's do three and five eighths, which is one little tick line between the half and the three fourths. And then we're gonna do it at four and seven eighths. Four and seven eighths, which is, oh, I need glasses. Hard to see those little lines. Um, Calypso coral. It's uh, Jill. It's Calypso coral. Um, also, it could be terracotta tile. <laughs> they are almost identical. All right, we're gonna put this on here. Oh wait, no. There's something else I want to do. I wanted a little more something something. So I'm taking my cinnamon cider stamp and blend, and just kind of flicking ink. I like um, cinnamon cider with Calypso coral. I think it looks pretty. Uh, you know, is it, it's Calypso Coral in the paper, right? It's not terracotta tile. Either way, they'll both work. All right, so there we go. Now I just flicked the ink on top because we're gonna put a piece of designer series paper down here on the bottom. Oh, did it, Lisa? I'm having to close every like two minutes and open it so I can see your comments. I don't like that but I, I don't want to say anything negative because, you know, they're listening. <laughs> you never know. They're going to delete your video. You never know. Okay. Now here's that naturals paper. I've cut just, it is, it's about three eighths of an inch um, wide. It's very, it's not a quarter inch and it's not a half inch. It's right in the middle. A little thin layer of combo and we'll lay that down okay and now this we're going to just do about that much of it and if I had thought about it ahead of time which I didn't I would have put adhesive sheet on the back that would have made way more sense we're going to do that on the next project because after I made this I was like oh why didn't I do that so now, then I was thinking about it so I'm just gonna put some little do 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 and lay that on there like that. Okay, now let's just set it aside, let all that dry, and let's cut out our um, 
paper right here, okay? Now, the thing I like about this is that I only need one butterfly, right? However, I'm gonna cut it out and there are gonna be five other butterflies sitting on my desk. So then, you know, it's like that book, if you give a mouse a cookie. Well, if you give me six butterflies, I'm gonna make six projects. You know, if you don't need to mass produce this, you could just be like, okay, now I've got more butterflies, what can I make? Um, make sure it stays. Also, you could mass produce. You could just make six cards. And it's a sympathy card, which I don't like. Ugh, I never choose that sentiment. However, when you need a sympathy card, you need a sympathy card, right? And usually when you need one, you're not in the mood to make it. So you might as well just have them on hand, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we need them from time to time. Okay, so we've got our six butterflies. They're all different sizes, the butterflies. I don't know what sizes, I don't know what they are. I'm sure there's somebody here who probably knows what they're called, but I do not. I really should have like a research department who researches the stamps before I use them to give you all the facts, like the name of the plants. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. All right, now we're gonna use, um, I was confused by what that paper was for, but now I remember. We're gonna use thick, basic white. Oh, you got the whole day off today, Lisa. Good for you. I hope the weather's nice where you are. It is gorgeous here. You would never have known that it snowed two weeks ago or whatever it was. It is gorgeous, warm, sunny. I had shorts on yesterday, crazy. Okay, so you could use any of these. You could use green, which I like. You could use that one. They're all gonna coordinate with this paper. They all look good together. The big yellow one, you'll have to kind of move in. Oh, I like that. Mm. Okay, we'll use the yellow one this time. So I have used the blue one and the green one, and now I'm gonna use the yellow one. So I'm just gonna take, oh, I keep pulling those out. I am gonna take a dimensional and Put that right there. Now let's stamp that sentiment in Calypso Coral, just on a strip of basic white. I'm just gonna cut it out as a rectangle, nothing fancy. If I can keep from smearing it, let's see. So far, so good. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, all right, we got it, we got it. Let's bring that card back over. Couple of dimensionals. And I wonder if I can see, no, I can't see comments on my phone either. Hmm. Annoying. And we're gonna put that, you know, I kind of like it sticking off that, that left edge there. And look, no bow, are you guys proud of me? No bow! Ta-da! Okay, which one do you like better? The bumblebee color? I'm guessing that is Misty Moonlight or Pool Party. They all look great, I think. I don't know. I made that one first, and then I made that one this morning. By the way, there's a clean recording of this and the other two projects already uploaded on YouTube. So if you want to come back and watch for specifics, you can go to my blog and click, click the link under the photo, and it'll take you to like a nine minute video showing you how to make it, okay? All right, project one is done. Let's move on to project two. Let's see, I need to pull this off, put this over here, put this here. I need to get a desktop um, trash can, like a little desktop trash can, because I'm finding during my videos that I'm just brushing stuff off to the floor. <laughs> I have a trash can not far, but for some reason, I don't know, maybe if it's on my desk, it would um, be better. Okay, so here's the card we're gonna make. And notice it is a side fold. I cut our card base as a top fold accidentally, so we're gonna make it like this. It's fine, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and, side note, um, when I, I didn't plan very well for this, for make and takes, because this paper also is the paper on the other card. <laughs> 
Oops. So when I send you make and takes, I might be sending different sheets for this, but that's okay. They'll, they'll all look, they'll all coordinate. Even if you use that one, if you used that one. Okay. So when you, if you get the make and takes, just know I'm more than likely going to sub a different sheet in there because we're going to need that. We have to use that one for that card. Uh, when I made these, I wasn't thinking of Facebook Friday. I think I was just, I was just playing around with new stuff. And I wasn't thinking. Okay, let's see. We're going to start with, let's see, what are we going to start with? Let's start by putting, let's, let's put our paper on our card base. And I'm going to show you how I made these cute little boxes. All right, basic white card base. You can do it with a fold on the side or the fold at the top. Either one will work. Okay, let me close you guys out. Come back, see if I see comments. Okay, good, I see you guys. All right, now I'm gonna put that four by five and a fourth right in the middle. I have cut out a vellum piece. This is from the Ornate Layers dies. Um, I have been using the heck out of this die right here. I know it looks like it's from our stitched rectangles, but it's not. It's from this die. It's long and skinny and perfect for going across cards like that. Um, and I have been using it a ton. Um, but I, when I was using it this last week, I thought, you know, what? I need to use some of these other ones because they're pretty good too. Um, so that's that vellum. Now I have cut out three teeny tiny scalloped basic white squares, and then a um, piece of that naturals paper, uh, one and an eighth by one and an eighth is the size you need. Now we need three butterflies, and I already cut two of them out, but I want to show you once again how wonderful our adhesive sheets are. I have a piece of just basic white. I'm going to stick it down. This is our Stampin' Up's adhesive sheets. They are, you'll find them in the adhesive section of our catalog. I'm just gonna cut it out. The only problem with adhesive sheets is that you have to remember to put them on before you cut. So really it's not a problem with adhesive sheets. It's a problem with my memory. <laughs> you have to be thinking ahead. Um, but, but let me tell you, from a girl who is not good with liquid glue, who makes a giant mess, I love the adhesive sheets. Because it turns your paper into a sticker. So I'm using this one. It's not the tiniest one. It's the one right above it. I think the tiny one would be okay also. Let me get, I can see we've got some stragglers. Okay, now make sure I have the adhesive on the right side this week. Last week I did it upside down. All right, I'm gonna run it through a couple of times because we've thickened that paper up, right? That was probably overkill, twice would be enough. Um, but I want to make sure it cuts through that back. We've thickened that paper with that adhesive sheet. And so I just want to make sure that it's cut all of those, those little holes. You know, that's all a cutting surface. Every single hole is a cutting surface and we need to make sure it gets lots of pressure. This little tool is my take your pick tool. And it, this is the brush attachment. I listed this on today's project sheet. I don't always list this, but it's really good. I just wanna make sure you guys know that it's available. It's awesome. It, the, the brush attachment, um, you know, you unscrew one of these, I think this one, I guess maybe either one, and you put that in. I have two of them. Um, and it comes with that foam, that foam sheet also. That's a fantastic tool. All right, so now we have put the adhesive on the back. And what we're gonna do on these teeny tiny little squares is we're gonna put them on, they're not gonna fit, they're gonna hang off. And we're gonna put one in the center, we'll start with the first one in the center, like that, okay? And then we'll take another one. I already cut these out, so we don't have to, you don't have to watch me cut them out. We're gonna do that one kind of over to the left. And then we'll do this one over to the right. 
like that. And now these little doodads are sticking to me. Oh my gosh, come on, Facebook. Stop with the glitches. You're driving me crazy. All right, now turn it over and cut that butterfly off. Okay, let's do this one. And let's do this one. And this one. All right. Now, why is that not staying taped down? Now, let's put some adhesive on each little square. I'm almost out. I'm wondering if I'm going to run out in the middle of Facebook Live. I can see the red tape getting to the end. All right, so we're just going to put these on here. Aren't these cute? This is not the smallest scalloped square die. I think it's the second smallest. Okay. There we go. So now bring over your, I hate when I can see all my trash in the videos, I'm trying to keep all of that out of, <laughs> out of the frame. Um, now I'm gonna get dimensionals and I'm gonna start right here in the middle. Okay, the middle one, I think I'm gonna make it this one. So make your middle one equal distance from the sides. That looks like it's a little bit further over than I want it. There we go. Okay, and then to make them all straight, I'm gonna grab my ruler and put them like this. Like that. Uh-oh, the neighbor is making noise outside. Charlie's gonna lose it. How dare the neighbor be outside. He's got to let everyone know. And like that. So if you just use that ruler, bump them up and they'll be straight. All right. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to, remember you can see adhesive through vellum, but you can also hide your adhesive behind the squares. All right. And I'm going to put it right there. Now let's grab our linen thread. You knew I couldn't go that long without a bow. And the heart charms. I got six packages of heart charms that came in today that were on back order. Woohoo! And I'm going to tie this on the seam. You know what? We're going to tie that charm. And I was really struggling in the other video. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot. And then, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to take this charm, get it to hang, hang where I want it, right there, and then I'm going to tie the bow. So if you tie that knot, it makes it a little bit easier, because then you're not trying to hold it all together, like that. And I left these kind of long and scraggly, because I liked it long and scraggly. All right, so that's how I made the card originally, but then I thought... I hate to leave it without a sentiment. I mean, it doesn't have to have a sentiment, but let's put one inside. I am using Let Your Faith Be Bigger Than Your Fear from my friend Rhonda's uh, Million Dollar Set. Ridiculously awesome. Okay, and I did it in stays on because that is red rubber and this is thick white and it just stamps much better on thick white. All right, there you go, card number two. And you know, just put whatever sentiment inside you want or put no sentiment, you know, leave it blank. No, there's no rule that says every card has to have a sentiment, right? I'm glad you like it. Elise, sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Elise, I don't have glasses, but I need them. Um, I like that too. It kind of reminded me of, um, you know, like when you would collect butterflies and you put the pen through them. Like, do they even do that anymore? <laughs> we did that when I was in school, but now that seems very, like, bad. I bet I bet they don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's probably totally not PC these days. Okay, anyhow, there you have it. No butterflies were harmed in the making of this card. I can't say the same for seventh grade. All right, now, I am super most excited about the next project because... It's a blast from the past. If you guys have been around since 
well, I had to go back on my blog and look. But in 2015, when we had our big curvy keepsake and our brand new butterfly dies, I made a project just like this. I don't know if any of you remember it, but if you wanna go back and see it, I linked it on today's blog post. Um, I We made this for um, Stamp Club. The funny thing that I remember, 2015 um, wasn't really the start of online ordering, but it, but things were start. The business was changing. Stamping up was getting a lot more online orders than just home workshop orders. This is how it's been explained to me. And suddenly, back orders became a huge issue. There really hadn't been an issue um, before that. And I remember we did. We made these at Stamp Club, and I went in to put everybody's order. And the butterfly dies were brand new. And I went and I sat down, and the butterfly dies were like unorderable. We couldn't order them. <laughs> they were so popular. I don't. That was the first time I ever ran into that problem. I, I don't know why that stands out to me, but it totally does. But anyway, I pulled out, I went back, searched, found the picture, and we're gonna make these with our mini curvy keepsake boxes. Aren't they cute? Okay, let me close you guys out again. Open up so I can see your comments. Okay, we're gonna do Daffodil Delight. I have done um, Flirty Flamingo, Coastal Cabana is the clean recording you'll find on YouTube and then we'll do Daffodil Delight. I will say I did three different butterflies and you can use all of the butterflies. I think I think I like the biggest one the best. And this one, um, that one's okay too. It'd be fine. If you're gonna mass produce these, like let's say you're gonna make a bunch of them for, I put Easter sentiments on them. Um, you could do baby shower, bridal shower, whatever. Then then I would just use all of, all of the butterflies because that's that's the whole purpose of that stamp and the die is that you, you can do you can mass produce it. All right, so I cut out our mini curvy keepsake box. Here it is, just one die. Our old one was two dies. You had to cut two out. How did I have that on there? I don't know. Okay, and we are going to use, speaking of back orders, unorderable, the blending brush. <laughs> it's coming at the end of the month. I'm sorry. I know it's so popular, um, but we're going to use it. You can also just use a sponge dauber or a regular sponge. I, you know, I like using these. I'm kind of addicted to it. It's just fun. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to turn this over too. Um, but the blending brushes, oh, that side's a mess too. Oh, well, we'll do both. I mean, we'll do this side because it's a little bit, I don't want to get, I don't want to pick up any of that blue ink. Um, I'm going to put just a teeny tiny little dot of adhesive on that so it'll stay put. I have got one of our um, basic pattern masks, the polka dots, and I'm using post-it tape, okay, to hold it down. If you don't know what post-it tape is, let me introduce you, my friends, to post-it tape. I love it. It is just like a post-it note, except it's just a tape. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I have a link at the top of my blog, there is um, a tab that says Amazon Favorites, and you will find it there if, you're, if you want a quick link to it. All right, so I've taped that down. We're gonna get our blending brush. And you still have the big curvy die, Sandy? I do too, I know, I do too. It's like the mama and the baby, right? They're so cute. All right, I know my friend Belinda, I don't think she's on here, she's teaching. She used them for her daughter's bridal shower. They were so cute. All right. Daffodil Delight ink, I'm gonna start on the edge before I go over and start inking because when you put this down, it kind of leaves a dark blob before you start blending. So start over on the side. And I'm gonna show you guys something else. Um, the way that I did it originally, back in 2015, we had a mask that had large holes, big polka dots. And I had seen my friend Melody, I'm always talking about her. She had done a little marker trick with, not really a trick, but a marker technique with her um, mask. And that's what we did. I'll show you, I did it on one of these. However, I will, look at that. <laughs> I didn't wash my mask and it still has Coastal Cabana on it. Look at that, it's like sick polka dots. They look kind of green. Yellow and blue make green. All right, you've learned your lesson from me. Wash your mask before you switch colors. <laughs> I was so 
worried about it picking up the color from the paper. I wasn't even thinking about the mask. All right, anyhow, um, look at this one right here. Charlie, hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. Hold on, go outside. Um, the mask, sorry, your dogs and cats are probably letting you know that they don't appreciate that. Um, what I did here, instead of using the brush, I took my stamp and write marker and you do the circle and then you go scribble, scribble, scribble down. So you're not totally coloring it in, you're just doing a little scribble. I will tell you that there are a lot of dots on this mask and that took a long time and my wrist was dying. So yes, it's cute, but I would only do it if I had to do one. <laughs> These dots are too small for that. I mean, you can do it, but they're, you know, it's going to take a long time. So use the blending brush. Just make sure your mask is clean, all right? Uh, Cindy, post-it note tape. Yes, friend. Post-it note tape. It's awesome. All right, curl your, your petals with your bone folder. And bend these back like this. Burnish all of these. And... Let me just give you a warning. Do not buy these. They are delicious. I bought these at Target yesterday when I ran in to get a couple of things for our trip. And I bought them for projects. And they were sitting on the kitchen counter. And I asked my husband to go drop them in my office. Well, when he did, they the bag broke open, so he says. And so then we were eating them. And they are delicious. So don't buy them unless you can afford the calories. All right, so this is how you close it. You pinch that, right? And you have one of these petals go over and then put your candy. I mean, it only holds like three. And then your, come on, go in there, dude. And then that one folds over, okay? So now let's make the butterfly to go on that. We are going to use that same die We've got to clean it. We don't want to have the same problem that we just had with our <laughs> green mask. Hello. That is so funny. That's so typical me. I'm always in a rush. I've told you guys this before. I'm always in a rush, rush, rush. And I make dumb mistakes like that because I don't stop to do the basics. All right. Now I'm going to ink it in. Okay, it's dry in Daffodil Delight. And we're gonna stamp it on Daffodil Delight. <laughs> Catherine, good, I'm glad. You know, you just gotta laugh at yourself. That's what I'm trying to teach my daughters, especially my middle child. She cannot laugh at herself and she cannot laugh and she cannot stand when other people laugh. So, you know, I tell her, you gotta laugh. You just gotta laugh. That's the only way to get through these things because so you're going to make mistakes. You're going to do embarrassing stuff your whole life. And if you can laugh about it, then it's less embarrassing. She's, she's, I mean, 13, you guys, 13 is the worst. <laughs> she's having a rough time, poor baby. And I don't know, you know, you can't, nobody can fix that for you. Nobody can fix 13. <laughs> the only thing that can fix 13 is time. Someday she'll be 20 and it'll be different. But right now, 13 is rough. All right, so let's cut it out. Um, she needs a break from school. I told her this morning, she was just kind of almost in tears. Um, I said, hey, get through today. And then you've got nine days of sleeping in. We're going to go hiking. We're going on a road trip. We're going to eat junk food. We're going to have fun. But she twists her ankle and she's very worried that she can't hike, you know. Drama. Raise your hand if you have teenage girls at home or have had teenage girls at home. God has a sense of humor too. All right, so there we go. I've got my Daffodil Delight butterflies. So really, you could use all of those, right? Oh, you know what? Come back. We've got one other thing to cut out. And, you know, because we're on the third project, the wheels have come off, as I always say. Here it is. You need a piece of vellum, and we're going to cut out one of these. And really, you can do any of them. I like, I like it. To, uh, you know, I'm going to use that big one again to cover up my green spots. Um, so I'm going to go down one size. I'm going to use this butterfly. 
You could use the same or you could use smaller. Mix and match. Vellum cuts so nice. If you are trying to cut out a bunch of things, and believe me, I cut out a bunch of things, um, and if you have a die that won't go through two layers of cardstock, it will go through two layers of vellum. I love the way vellum, I can even get three layers of vellum cut. I love it. Okay, so now, oh gosh. Hopefully you guys, I think when I'm looking at my iPad, it doesn't look as green as it looks in real life. I mean, it looks like <laughs> sick green. Okay, anyway, focus. So let me show you how this opens. Um, you, we're gonna cut your butterfly in half. See how I did that? You wanna put it around the slit on the box so that it'll open up. You're just really making the butterfly part of the box. Okay, so just cut that baby right in half. I know, now I can't say no butterflies were, were, were not harmed. No butterflies were harmed in the making of this project. Okay, so now we've cut them in half and I'm just gonna take a little bit of Tombow Put it right there. You can only claim being a teenage girl at home about 40 plus years ago. Yeah, I know. I was, my mom just giggles because I was my daughter. <laughs> I was her. And that's, you know, that's what makes it hard for me too. Cause I'm like, I want to help her. But then I'm also like, oh my God, suck it up. <laughs> being a mom is fun, fun, fun. You know, my other two are just not, I don't know. I mean, they've all, they all have issues. They all have their thing. But the other two are, I don't know. They're, they, they're, they're more comfortable in their skin, I guess I'll say that. All right, now I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so see how I glued those on either side of that slit. We're going to let that dry. And I am going to make a tag. I've done it several ways here. Here, I'm, I used the... Pick a banner punch. Here I used this punch. I think I, this is the one I put on the supply list. And I can't, my supply list is buried. I can't remember the name of it. These are all called pick a punch something. Um, and it has two different ends. Um, sending Easter wishes to someone very sweet. That stamp set is called A Wish for Everything. And it's a double stamp set. It is a great stamp set. If you, you know, sometimes you're like, that's a boring, I don't want to buy words, but you need it. It's really good. Um, so that's that. And then I also, it's from the same stamp set, I did this one like this on an oval. Okay, so we're going to just do a little strip and we'll use the pick a banner punch. Let me get my sentiment. And I think we will use, I better clean, you know, let me grab... I don't want to stamp that indefinitely. I'm going to stamp that. I'm going to bring Coastal Cabana back and that way it'll it'll coordinate with the spots on the butterfly. All right. You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to punch this end right here. If you will slide this paper in right there, it'll punch that in. Then stamp your sentiment. Leave a little space there for a bow. Okay. Now this is too long. And when I was making my video today, I was like punch, 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 trying to get it to get down short. All right, so stick this in the other side and we have a flag. See, it's still a little bit too long. Let's see if I can do it without screwing it up. All right, eh, it's not perfect, but that'll do. All right, so then we'll get a dimensional. Um, okay, so Lisa, you have three boys. I'm sure there was drama in your house too. Maybe not in the same way, but I'm sure boys come with their own set of fun, fun emotions. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the twine. This is the white twine from the snail mail pack. And Pepper is still eating, not eating, tearing up twine. I feel like, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. I don't know where she's getting packed as a twine, but she found some more today. Like a brand new package. I don't, I don't know. It's gotta be like hidden somewhere that I don't know. Maybe there's a box of it. I have no idea, but she keeps finding it and finding it and chewing it. She's not eating it. She's chewing it up. 
and it's driving me crazy. I mean, she's probably chewed up 10 packages of twine, maybe more. I don't know. All right. So see, there you go. And that's, and that's how you do it, except make sure you clean your mask. All right, you guys, what do you think? Isn't this cute? I love this Kirby keepsake box because it's easy, right? Super easy and it's small, so you don't have to buy a lot of candy. Um, I put jelly beans in these that I made the other day and then you saw the Oreo eggs. They fit perfectly in there. All right, so there we have it. I think I only screwed up twice today maybe I don't know who's counting um okay before you go let me tell you a few things okay so if you want the butterfly brilliance butterfly bijou designer series paper that's a weird name um you can get I will send you the make and takes for free with an order of $35 or more by Monday at midnight <clears throat> Now, normally, you guys, I cut those on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. I will be gone all week, so they will not ship till the following week, okay? So you're going to have to wait twice as long as normal. So it'll probably take two weeks to get to you, um, but they will come, so don't worry. And uh, let's see, so then Monday at midnight, that cuts off. There will be a new host code on Tuesday morning. Um, it's my spring break special. And you will earn a free set of blends with an order using a host code. So if you want the blends, you can wait. If you don't want the projects, you'd rather have the blends. You can't get both. You'd have to put in two different orders, okay? Um, you have to use the host code for the blends. Let me think of what else. I will have new projects posted every day this week. And I think on Friday, I'm going to bring back an old Facebook Friday that was fun around St. Patrick's Day for you guys. If you're looking for something fun to watch, we are going on an epic road trip. We are hitting three national parks and one, possibly two state parks. We are, this is Ellie's last spring break in high school. So we are doing it up big and we're taking the boyfriend too. I know, are we not the best parents in the world? I think we are. We're taking him, we love him, he's adorable, and he's 20, she's 18, and I love having him because he is so, Mr. Owen, what can I do to help you? Mr. Owen, can I take this? Mr. Owen, can I put this? I'm like, heck yeah, you can come on a trip with us, buddy. He's awesome. Um, he like packs the car, he cleaned out trash out of the car on our last trip, so I was like, yeah, you're coming with us. So <laughs> he's coming with us again. Um, so I will be out of pocket. I will be, we're going to Utah, so I will have spotty Wi-Fi. Um, I will try my best to answer emails and get back with you guys, okay? So be patient with me next week, um, but just be looking for those blog posts. I'm gonna have them scheduled. I'm working on that. I worked on that last night. I'm gonna work on it tonight, and hopefully we'll have content for you next week, all right? Okay, you guys, have a great week. I will be back the following week. Uh, two weeks from today, we will be doing the kangaroo um, stamp bundle um, for Facebook Friday, okay? Have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in two weeks. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Bye.